All right, let's look at the error in snapshot replication when you see skipping file, some file name, because it has already been delivered for a previous article or by a previously attempted snapshot. First thing, uh, a couple of helpful tasks that I would suggest. It does vary by your environment, of course. Uh, know your schedule. Um, if you know how many subscribers you have, of course, because um, that will affect, you wanna make sure that, let's say you have a publication, you have six subscribers, you wanna make sure that when you go and you check the, uh, the distribution to subscriber history, that the subscriber that's receiving this error that you see earlier that it did copy the data, okay? So definitely check the distribution to subscriber history. Um, I also say to check the live queries. Uh, I've seen this a lot with snapshots. There's a, a fundamental misunderstanding with snapshots um, in some environments, and that is that a snapshot replication often drops everything and recreates everything, okay? Depending on the size of the database, that's not really a very effective approach. It's a very poor way to clone a database. Um, and like I said, it depends on the size. But if it's a big size, large size, you have large tables, well, think about in order for that snapshot to be generated, it has to go get a lock on the table that it's generating those scripts from, right? That's not gonna be an efficient process depending on what applications may be using those source tables. So just consider that. And then kind of another quick hack that I like to do if I do get this message is there's a helpful query here, we'll execute it, but you can basically get the create date, the name um, of basically the, the database.sys tables order by create date. Oh, by the way, you can also do, uh, I believe it is modified date or maybe it's modified date, hold on. Yeah, it's modified date. But you can also get the date that it was modified and the date that it was created but that can be helpful, especially for debugging this, because if you get this message uh, and you verify that all of the tables were created, then you can do a quick row count and verify, okay, you know, especially in the case of snapshot, depending on how much of uh, the data have changed, you can kind of ascertain how much of the data did make it into uh, the destination. In the case of several points where I've received this error in the past, it was actually totally fine. Everything had been generated. The clustered indexes and non-clustered indexes were built. Um, what it was was one of the tables got caught, um, wasn't able to get through, and so it caused the entire thing to reattempt. And so it, it'll vary again by your environment, but you definitely want to check and make sure um, that each of the pieces made it over when you are debugging this.